So what if I told you you couldn't put salt in your cooking? Or maybe you couldn't put anything sweet in any of the recipes you're making. How would that affect you as a chef? Well, I'm sure you're kind of going, wait a minute, my food wouldn't taste that great. Exactly. Because we all grew up learning that there are four basic tastes in our mouth, right? We all know it's sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. And we believe that for a long time until along comes this thing called umami. And what we discovered is that umami is indeed the fifth taste, which means that inside of our mouth, we have the ability to perceive the five different tastes. And that's kind of important because each taste has a reason for being there. So for instance, if I'm eating something sweet, what that's telling my body is, it's all about calories and it's about consuming energy. Or if I'm, let's say, eating something bitter, well, what that's transmitting to my brain is that, mm, be careful, maybe that's a poison. But through social training, we actually learn to like things that are bitter. What about umami? Umami is made up of that glutamic acid, an amino acid that's one of the building blocks of protein, which means that umami is really our body's way of perceiving or tasting protein. So when we eat something that has umami in it, not only is the message going to our brain that we're consuming protein, but it's also giving this message that, wow, this is really good. Now, interestingly enough, I haven't always believed in umami. In fact, I, like a lot of people, were sort of on the fence if it really existed. And certainly, I didn't want to use MSG. But one day in one of my classes I was teaching, I remember talking with a student from the Philippines, and in the lecture that day I had mentioned about how we don't use MSG in, in, in our kitchen because it's a little suspect or whatever. And afterwards, the student came up to me and she said, you know, chef, I don't get it. What is it about MSG? Because when I'm at home, my mom has it in the kitchen and we grew up eating it on a lot of things. Now all of a sudden I'm sort of got this question mark in my head. And then she says, chef, have you ever tried it on scrambled eggs? And so right then in the kitchen, we made some scrambled eggs, because I was curious. And she put in the MSG, and I couldn't believe the flavor boost. And it was that day that I started thinking, you know, maybe there's something to this umami thing.